religion have infected the subconscious mind of humanity with the idea of the end of the world. And in this moment, the religion I'm talking about is Christianity. For hundreds of years, they have intimidated people with lies. They have infected the brain of people with the end of the war is coming, Jesus is coming back, and of course, after 2,000 years, Christ has never come back and never will. But the problem is millions of people now believe that the end is coming. Millions of people have the infection in their subconscious mind and these millions of people are creating what look like the end. The main reason of this lie is because the super advanced creatures that they call God, they don't like humanity. They have tried to destroy humans for thousands of years. And it's another group and we have talked about this before, that has protect us and don't allow that to happen. Call them whatever you want to call them, extraterrestrials, whatever you want to call them. That's why what they are. They are in super advanced, very intelligent. And the group that has created religion to keep humans under that kind of mental slavery, now their plan is to make humans to auto-destroy themselves. How? By implanting in humanity, through religion, the belief that the end is coming. And yes, we humans are creating the end. Is no end coming. The war will keep going like always have for trillions of years. The only ones that will be finished is us, the humans. And it's because instead of putting on people's mind the idea of prosperity, creating a better war, creating a beautiful war of peace and prosperity and technology and all these wonderful things, this draconian entities has infected people through their leaders with the idea that the end is coming. And that is exactly what is happening. We're living in a war that is upside down. Think about this. If that religion, in this case Christianity, was the truth, if that religion was the light, this will be a wonderful world because there is millions and millions of people that believe in that. It's millions and millions of people around the world that get indoctrinated every week, once or twice or maybe three times a week on the lies and manipulations of this cult, because that is what it is, a cult of blood, cult of cruelty to keep humans a slave down feeling guilty all the time, is nothing positive about it. Then, I am sure that you, like me, have been hurt before by this kind of religions. Those religions are not the light of the world, they are the darkness. And they being implanted in this earth through punishment, through pain, through abuse, 
and all they surround themselves is with blood. Go to that book called the Bible. It's blood all the time on it. They sacrificing animals to that God. And at the end, what happened? He supposedly sacrificed his own son that's supposed to be Christ up to the last drop of blood out of his body to forgive the sins of humanity. This is nothing but a very sick, terrible cult. Open your eyes, help other people to realize that we are in the situation we are because religion, religion is the one that has created the most horrible wars, has created the most horrible acts against humanity. It's time for us, the ones that can see, to spread this knowledge to other people and realize that indoctrinating kids should be illegal, indoctrinating kids on this sick religion should be not allowed, because that is how we was indoctrinated when we was little. We need to free ourselves of all these lies and manipulations. We are still in time to do it. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.